Since we've begun the Supercharger build, I've gotten non-stop comments, non-stop emails, non-stop direct messages on all platforms saying please do your oil pump gears because that will go first if you aim for the power that you're planning to go towards. We put the build on a complete halt, we stopped what we were doing, and I have ordered some billet oil pump gears that we will be replacing today. Apparently, the stock oil pump gears in the car usually give out around 600 horsepower or so, or if you allow the car to rev higher, it usually blows up. So to save our trouble from that, went ahead, picked up these bad boys. So we're gonna be throwing these in today, which is probably gonna slow down our process with the build because we have to now strip out a fair amount of stuff just to get to it. We're gonna be taking off these covers, taking off these front motor plates, I don't know what you'd call those. Then we gotta take this big pulley off. And then once we get that pulley off, the gears are actually right behind here. So unfortunately, we now have to undo a lot of this stuff. But I'd rather do this now than do it later. So it's kind of a good thing. Three hours later. Two hours later, we got every single bolt. It was a series of 13s and 10s hidden on this front cover plate. Let me tell you, this is way harder than the Supra. The Supra is just plastic covers. You think this is harder than the Supra? At the bottom of these chains is the crankshaft. We need to mark these chains now so we can keep uh, the timing correct on this. So we're gonna figure out how to do that. Once that is done, we're gonna pull off these chains and right behind here are the oil pump gears. We're gonna throw in the new ones, reverse everything we just did, but this is a pretty cool view here. We didn't film too much of it. I apologize for that. It was just a bunch of bolt removal and um, proper organization to get everything out, but simple, but fun hard. Fact, two fun facts. Chains are the most efficient in energy loss. And two, I stream on Twitch. So go follow me. We're at <laughs> Damn, <now>. that plug <laughs> though. Got him. After about three hours, we finally got to what we were trying to get at. And after spilling oil everywhere, finally here, I'm gonna remove all of these Torx bits and we will finally reveal the stock oil pump gears. We'll swap in the new ones, put everything back, and then proceed with where we left off with the supercharger build beforehand. back on the car, everything is back on. I think we did it right, Teach. Yep. Oil pump gear back on, timing chains back on, uh, all of our markings are correct, everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and put the front facing cover back on the car, then put the valve covers back on the car, then we can get back to it. Yeah, yawning is correct. We were not pumped to do this, but I am glad that we got it done. Look at that little V8 uh, power. Ah, uh, pumped, oil pump, we're not pumped. No. Easy peasy, baby. Look at that, coming together. Good job, Calvin. Anything to say? Anything to say to the, all the supporters out there who didn't believe? Any words, though? No, no. Any anything? No. You thought we couldn't do it? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Good looking badge right there. All right, so we're actually about to throw on the manifold now. You don't look, so you look I'm dead. A, I'm a little nervous, I'm tired. <laughs> hey, you guys cut your fucking shit over there?
what it's time for, boys. Cold air intake. This is synonymous for cold air intakes, right, Teach? Coldest of all cold, cowboy. This goes on the. What's colder than cold, Teach? Ah, it's cold. <laughs> it well, technically, you could key out this pole, Teach, and you could replace it with Ricardo or something. Oh, doctor. Oh, not the doctor. No, doctor's here. Oh, there the he is. oh, there he is, doctor. You doubted me. No, you're just a good doctor, Teach. I wouldn't want you operating on my innards. I wouldn't trust you, but if you did it, I wouldn't be upset. Like, I wouldn't willingly, hey, yeah, Teach, just operate on me, doctor. Video sponsor of the day goes to Zebit.com. Has there ever been an item that you wanted to buy, but you haven't been able to afford it right on the spot, so you had to wait that much longer? Well, now you have the chance to buy that on Zebit.com. It allows you to finance items with insane benefits. You can pay for these items with zero interest over time, and it costs zero dollars to join. They have zero late fees, they don't check your credit, and it doesn't impact your credit. This especially is a really unique opportunity for younger people who haven't developed credit yet, or don't even have a credit card. When I was younger, when I first started YouTube, I wasn't able to buy expensive camera equipment when I wanted to because simply I didn't have a credit card that could go high enough to get what I wanted. So I had to pay for everything in full. But if I had Zebit at the time, I would have been able to finance those items with zero credit history and purchase them when I wanted. Zebit also has a very detailed, descriptive FAQ section on their website to help answer any questions that you might have. You can go to zebit.com forward slash TJ Hunt or click the link down below to receive up to $2,500 of interest free credit. If you're trying to get your hands on anything from your favorite brands, be sure to check them out. And thank you, Zevit, so much for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. Key component. Map sensor. Map. Uh, that's what I said, map. You said map. I said map. You said map. I said map. 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 Are you making fun of my Filipino accent? <gasps> you calling me a racist? <laughs> map. Map for we're gonna Fuck. be we're gonna be reusing the stock map sensor. I just want to put the blower on, Cal. We're almost there, Teach. Five That's more steps. We spent four hours today doing nothing. It's a, it's a thick. Bo Don't shake that around too yeah. much, Teach. Oh, it's a jumby. Kev jumby. What's going on, boys? Um, nothing. I heard None. you needed assistance. Your know, your face is get. Kevin, your face is so much smaller than before. Good. It's TJ, up. TJ texts me, he goes, dude, Calvin ain't real cutting it, I need you to come in. That's what he told me. Another one of those, Tej? You really gonna believe that? Who do I believe? Look at that face, would that face lie to me? Guys, are you kidding? Or is that so? I mean, you lie to me a lot. Yeah. When? All the time. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just a hard worker over here. <laughs> That's gonna be a Twitch emote, that yes. face. That face, I want that. Yes. Please give it a Teej. What's a Teej face? What? Put a cap in it, Teej. Um, yep, there you go. Oh! We'll Shout out to Raj for making a cool design. <laughs> so if it doesn't sit flush, it's gonna need to grind that bump stock again. Hey. Hey, I did a good ass job, yeah. boy. That's pretty good. Hey. Damn. Damn. That fit really snug. Oh, you can see it. Oh. What? Can you, okay. What am I looking at? Right here. Let me get my light. You see that little like, angle on there? If you look right, bet, bet, there. Can't really see it. It's really oh, hard to tell right on camera. Right there. Right here, where my fingers at. Yeah. Hold That's on. that piece we cut in half, and I had it. It lost itself. Hold on. Anyways, that's perfect. Good job, Cal. Thanks, that's killer. Man. I was really afraid of having to grind that again. Once the new manifold is seated, every bolt gets torqued down to 10 newton meters. Then we're gonna try to reattach our harness clips and then install our fuel rod. Blower is 
now installed. It looks really good. We're at our stopping point for today. We went ahead and just torqued everything down on top so we can pick up right and early tomorrow morning. Mickey and Calvin are diving in and just kind of figuring out where some of the random hoses go to that we haven't figured out yet. But the fit and finish on this kit is amazing. It comes with all the new things. And honestly, Calvin and I were just talking about it. We've really just been enjoying the process and taking it kind of slow and just doing it piece by piece because it's almost like an advanced Lego set. Like it's, it's pretty, yeah. It's pretty easy and the instructions are fun and those oil pump gears really sucked, but we've done it now. We don't have to touch it ever again. And we know that the car is gonna handle all the power once we get up there. It, it, get, it makes you get into it, I love it. We have to go to LA tomorrow to film a video for Microsoft and some VR stuff. So you guys actually, tomorrow I'm gonna be filming a video, but it won't go live the next day. So it that doesn't make any sense, but there's gonna be a gap in the videos. I think it will be tomorrow, but by the time you guys are seeing this, you've already waited for the gap, so it already happened. So it's like we're already back on track. But before I end today's video, super hard to build in full effect, super, super hyped on that. I'm glad we got those oil pump gears out of the way because that was not fun, and I intentionally didn't show that much of it because it was just really, really boring to film. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys don't know about Portland, I'm gonna be talking about it for the next week or so. But the 19th of this month, we're gonna be in Portland, Oregon. You can use code TJ and save yourself money on all the tickets. As summer comes along, Hunt Company is gonna be dropping the biggest launch I think we've ever had with the most amount of items we've ever had. And that here are two of our tank tops that actually just got in. We're not gonna get the rest of the stuff for honestly quite a while. But we did a stone wash tank top this time. And I'm just giving you a little preview now. You're gonna get way more details on the stuff when we actually start promoting it and get our advertising shots and whatnot. But stone wash t shirt. I wanted to add more color because I normally just do black and white stuff and for those who don't like tank tops These actually also come in t-shirt forms as well with the stone wash. These aren't just your normal fit tank tops These actually go a lot lower. So it's more like a muscle tee I don't know, but I'm super super hyped on these these tank tops came out super super good Just giving you guys a little sneak preview on that. Uh, I have to wake up at 5 a.m. To drive to LA tomorrow. So I'm, I'm cutting this thing short. Thank y'all so much for watching I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward.